One of the most exciting times in anyone's life is welcoming a new baby into the world. But there's a lot to be done in that very short nine months and organising the baby's room is one of them. And I'm here to help one excited mum-to-be with that very job. Hi, Katerina. Hi, Tara. Thanks for coming. It's my pleasure. Looks like I'm just in time. Yeah, and I'm so glad you are here. <laughs> let's go and check out this room, shall well, let's we? Let's do. All right. Here it is. It has been a bit of a junk room for us. It's good, isn't it? Because with a junk room, you can shut the door. But yes. no longer. Well, that's what we've done. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you got um, to go? Eight weeks only. <gasps> that's so, not yes. long. No, not at all. It's exciting. Um, starting to panic because nothing has been really prepared. <laughs> at least it looks like you've already bought some stuff. We did, um, although we're not going to find out um, whether Bart will be boy or girl. Um, but that colour really stuck out for me. I like it. It's a nice contrast. OK, so we need to build the room around that lovely lime green. Yeah. You go and relax and I'll make this happen. I love doing nursery, so thank you That's, for this. Thank you. The brand new baby. I don't think Dad's going to be using these for a while. A nursery should be pretty and very practical. So first things first, let's get rid of this broken old built-in. Forget yoga. This is how I relax. Oh. Obviously, I have created a little bit of damage to these walls, so I want to put that right before I paint it. With the room empty, we've got a clean slate, so now we can talk colour. Now, generally with baby rooms, I tend to like to go for neutral colours. That way, as the child grows, you can always ring the changes with colourful accents. It makes it nice and easy. Now, for this space, I've gone for Dulux Lexicon Quarter Strength. It's one of the whitest whites they make, so it's a great all-rounder. Now, normally, covering a wall of this colour would be a bit of an issue. So that's why I've chosen to use Dulux Wash & Wear Super Hide. We'll get away with this with just two coats. This Super Hide's going on so easily, and the great thing is it's going to be dry in just a couple of hours. Now, it is a wash and wear, which is a no-brainer for a baby nursery, because as your bubs grows into a messy toddler, you'll easily be able to wipe away those sticky fingerprints. That's what I'm after. Katerina really didn't like the old wardrobe. The doors were broken and the insides, well, let's face it, they were clunky and out of date. So I'm replacing the entire thing with a brand new flat pack system. I can put it together myself so it's going to be cheaper. And the best part, completely adjustable, great for a growing baby. Now, before I put the wardrobe in position, what I want to do is paint the back wall with a really bright pop of colour. Katerina's favourite zesty lime green. Certainly bright. Look, I know it's a little bit on the intense side, but once the wardrobe's in, you'll only see a pop of the colour. It'll act as an accent for the room. You know what's really great about flat packs? They are completely achievable. You can build them yourself and you can add as many as you like to suit your space. Such a great system. These are the hinges and the doors simply click into place. We're getting there. The room is looking fresh, bright and so much cleaner. But we really do need to project some personality into these walls. So I've got a great artwork. It is so easy, you're going to love it. First up though, I need to cut the light. Using an LED projector and my wall as an easel, I'm projecting an image onto some artist cartridge paper. You just trace around it and then paint it. I'm using watercolours to create a soft, monochromatic look. With such a strong accent colour as that green, I'm using my very technical splodgy dodgy tool to do some little dots of colour over on this wall. Perfect. Make circles easy, that's for sure. I can't stress enough how important it is that safety should be top of mind in Bub's room. So make sure that you keep any loose dangly cords from curtains and blinds up and well out of the way, and also away from the cot and the baby change table.
Oh my god. You remember the red wall up there? Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, that's awesome. That was such a terrible wardrobe. And look at that. <laughs> look at that. That's so cute. How neat and, uh, and clean. Oh my god. Oh, how beautiful. And that color at the back, that's spot on. That's spot exactly, on. yeah. Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> and you found those as well. I gotta say, how <laughs> sweet is that? Yes, I know. <laughs> Oh, awesome. And the safari theme. Because I had a similar thought um, around um, a giraffe. <gasps> so that's that's perfect. Absolutely amazing. I was a little hesitant about your green to begin with. I thought, oh, how am I going to make that work? I think it's beautiful. Yeah. I actually love I, it now. I think it really, it really works well. And together with the black and white, it's modern, refreshing. It's uh, The black it's is what everyone's doing in nurseries at the moment. You're very on trend. Yeah, thank you. It's, it looks stunning. Well, now it's time for baby to arrive. It is time for baby. <laughs> and I'm super happy to tell you that just a few weeks ago, Katerina and her husband Marcus gave birth to a beautiful girl called Emily. And we really enjoy the uh, the nursery as well, given the amount of time we actually spend in this uh, little room. So thank you again for your help.